some jokes have a very short shelf life, but you also get comedy that's timeless. Your Own Dog Won't Bite You is a Ronnie Govender play that falls in the latter category and it had audiences rolling in the eyes back in the 80s. Three decades later, it returned to the stage and laughs were as loud as ever. Durban Theatre has seen the staging of many works by Ronnie Govender, a writer respected for his incisive social critique combined with deeply felt humanity. He is also a master of comedy and the latest incarnation of his family romp featured some updates to keep the jokes fresh as well as a con man who has now become a con woman. The name Ronnie Gavinder brings to mind rich cultural stories, heritage and of course theatre. He is a veteran in this field and has won numerous awards for his work and contribution. His 80s smash hit Your Own Dog Won't Bite You is being restaged right here in Durban. So join me for a night of much loved theatre. Now who is this white girl? Girl dad. Girl. Cindy. Where is she from? Cindy. Bloemfontein. Hare, tawa bura girl on top of that. <laughs> Mr. Gavinder, why did you decide to restage your own dog one bite you? Jay Lushni Naidu, I got some extracts from my various plays and put it together and called it uh, the funniest moments from Ronnie's plays. And there was an extract from Your Own Dog One Bite You. Everybody said, Ronnie, why don't you do this play again? A lot of people. Huh? I said, okay, and we'll do it again. What has inspired you and has the inspiration changed over the years? There are stories, very many stories across the vast panorama of life. And I guess that's what drives me on, is telling the stories of the lowly, of the high, of people generally. Stories that at some stage or the other um, have interested me for one reason or the other. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Gavinder. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. Things are going wrong in this house. I'm going to phone one only auntie. I'm going to phone her now. What? Your, your, wait. <laughs> I don't know where the number went away. <laughs> oh, it's here, Tawa. Yeah. I got it. Your sister gave it to me. I'm phoning. My sister? Yeah? My sister bloody mad as you. I'm telling you, both of you. Excuse me, your sister can see everything that's going on in this house. She is the one that told me that somebody did black magic in this house. Oh, yo. And she gave me this auntie's number. She said this auntie is one of its kind. She helped her. She helped everybody else. So I'm going to phone her because my life is going. <laughs> Rahul, tell us about your role that you play in Your Own Dog Won't Bite You. I play a dad to my um, almost finished study son and I am a husband in the play. But the character himself is an orthodox businessman uh, from the 90s. And uh, he has some funny quirks and ways that would um, uh, you know, connect with people who've experienced the era. No, you know, with you, it's a sin. It's a sin to have a little bit of fun, isn't it? Huh? You know, Madhu, in my days, I was, I was quite a dancer, you know? I was a, I was a, I was a dancer. I know, but me had to stay at home. <laughs> Tell me about your role in the play tonight. Um, I'm Madhu and uh, she's a hypochondriac, so she is crazy and always complaining about some body ache and pain and is always complaining about her husband. Um, so it was quite fun. I just looked at all the aunties in the community and based it on that. Excuse me, don't tell me what I had and what I didn't have. I'm sick, not you. Okay. Last time for blood pressure, he gave me pink mixture and green tablets. My stomach must be like on rainbow, but I still never get better. Is this the first time you are working with Ronnie Gavinder? Yes, it is. I was blown away by the fact that he asked me to be a, his lead actress. He's a legend because he's still working at 81. He taught us to get into the character about conceptualizing how she'd walk to where she was born to things like that. And that was really fascinating for me to get my research to base it on Madhu's character. What is your name, your real name? The name they gave in the book. Huh? Book, book, Jimmy, Wimmy, not in the book. <laughs> Ramnath, huh? Rabi Kisun, hmm. Jet Narayan, huh? Jagmon. Hmm. <laughs> Otherwise known as Jimmy Jagmon. Huh. Yeah, but you can call me Jimmy. Jayshree, what is it about Ronnie Gavinder's place that you enjoy so much? Firstly, Ronnie is one of the greatest storytellers I have ever met. His plays are very thought-provoking. And Ronnie's stories, whether they were done back in the 80s, 60s, 70s, or even right now in 2015, his stories are always evergreen. 
You got a booty? Oh, yes. <laughs> a, a very busy one, Ma. Yeah. And, and she's actually opening up her second oh, boutique. Yeah. Second boutique. <laughs> oh, two boutiques you got. Well, I asked Bible to come with me. All expenses paid. <laughs> oh, but he didn't want to. He's concentrating on his studies. Oh. And he's promised me no more racing. <laughs> <laughs> Lakshmi, Aage, eh? Lakshmi. <laughs> my Bible to be locked up in that flat all by himself. So I talked him into returning back home. <laughs> it's not good for a boy to be separated from his parents. <laughs> hey, I am so thrilled my Babu got such a lovely girl like you. Yeah. It was good to see such a, such a local story told in such a entertaining and funny and interesting way. Yeah. They've really sent a message home that Whatever happens in the family, at the end of the day, it's all good. What are good times over evil? So just love each other and that's it. I think it touches on subjects that most of us identify with. It's something that happens in most Indian homes. And the cast, I thought, were amazing. Family values are still so strong in Indian society. And I think that he brought that to the forefront in his play. And it was, it, it really, it really touched me, you know. It's very relatable. Ronnie has this knack of touching a common chord with people uh, and you recognize parts of yourself and your community in it. Tribute to Ronnie Gavinder, he's been South Africa's most outstanding playwright, uh, a great man of the theatre and the fact that he was honoured by our government with the most prestigious Ikamanga Award talks volumes about his capabilities. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Your own dog won't bite you was enjoyed by one and all. It brought back many memories for some of our audience members. And I can honestly say my tummy is sore from laughing because I had such fun. Ronnie Governor's plays are still relevant today and I can see them being evergreen for many, many years to come. <laughs>